welcome to yet another edition of DXB Today, the show that shines a bit of a spotlight on all things that this extraordinary city has to offer. And today, well, it's the E word. It's education, 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 or more to the point, education, employment, evolution. It's the three E's for you today. Um, if you get a good education, will you get a good job? Simple as that. That's a question we're posing to a whole host of guests, both in studio and out. Here's what's coming up. I get to check out one of our family favorites, Oli Oli, a world-class children's museum full of interactive installations. So plenty for us to get our teeth into here. And it's the perfect time as well. We are coming up to a season where there's a whole host of events uh, taking place right here in the city. And that's one thing that I'm really impressed by here is the fact that, you know, this can be a little bit of a minefield, uh, especially if you've been educated uh, in this part of the world. It's the question is, do I go to university uh, outside of the UAE? Do I have options here in the UAE? Now, I know when we first moved here many years ago, there were only a handful of universities. It was very difficult to get expat kids into them. That's changed fundamentally in the time. Um, what about the cost implications? Uh, what about the courses, vocational courses and otherwise? And that whole question at the moment, so given the gig economy, given the digital economy, is traditional education as we know it, um, is it suited for the modern workplace? So many questions, I don't have the answers, I hope you two do. <laughs> Can we just pass it on to our experts? <laughs> No, you have to answer the, answer the <laughs> questions. That's it. It's part of the test. Oh, dear. Tom, thanks a lot for putting us on the spot. <laughs> but are you in that minefield at the moment, or are you a way off? No, the thing is, my daughter's going to be going to uni soon. So what's great is that we can actually have all these fests or these, these uh, events here in the UAE yes. where you can see all these different colleges, not just that are based here in the UAE, but outside of the country. So our yeah. options are just so much more open now. Yeah, I remember when I was applying to universities, it was great Last to year, have yeah. all these fairs. <laughs> but it was all while back but but not that long ago um, but it's it was nice to see a lot of universities for example uh, from the UK from the US worldwide coming over here for university fairs um, so you can see what they offer all the undergrad uh, courses that they have so having that here is great but also now we have our universities here in the country competing with worldwide universities as well yeah. which is an amazing point point. and they're going up the global rankings obviously there's a yes. couple of global rankings that you see the university and the further education rankings to see um, UAE and GCC universities rising up those rankings the question from me to you and I know that's a bit weird because we're meant to ask the questions to other people yeah. but has there been a sort of a shift? Has there been a change at the moment? Because times were, wasn't there, that a lot of kids would go through education here in the UAE and then look for opportunities in other countries around the world yes. to further their education, then come back to the UAE, bring that skill set. Has that changed in recent years? Are there more Emirati students studying here? Yes, so from what I, I know and what I can see as well, uh, a lot of the Emiratis are staying in the country because our, like, a lot of the universities are getting to that level of like worldwide education, yeah. um, very high education uh, over here. And even graduate programs as well, a lot of the universities are opening a lot of new graduate programs. For example, I'm from a, I studied in uh, the American University of Sharjah and they're introducing a new, I think, media uh, masters which is great because in your running, yeah? yeah, I was I, I wanted to get yeah? <laughs> slightly, <laughs> but but from what I can see, yes, there is a there is a uh, a shift where people are studying over here, doing their undergrads, doing their graduates uh, course, and then mm. uh, working as well. Which is great as well because a lot of countries talk about brain drain, don't they? You know where. Um, your brightest students disappear to, to countries around the yeah. world think it, to get the, the, get the great education, but then, of course, are poached by some of the big companies around the world and it takes a while for them to come back. But that's something certainly I know from an expat point of view. Yeah. I've certainly seen that trend a lot more of my daughter. So my daughter goes to university, she's taking a gap year at the moment, goes to university in September, college, whatever it's called. <laughs> but a lot of her peers and colleagues uh, looking at opportunities here at yeah. the moment as well. And I'm guaranteed as well that a lot of them, majority of them, will be coming back here after further education. As yeah, well. yeah, so I think so. <laughs> and <laughs> since today is all about education, who better to have with us than our guest co-host? So let's find out who it is. Hi, my name is Craig Fernandez. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Secure My Scholarship. And I'm so excited to join you in the studio today. 
Craig will be joining us in just a bit. But first, we're going to find out a little bit more about fostering learning through play. Yeah, I got to take my little guide down to Oli Oli. It's an experiential museum in the city nurturing young minds to explore their interactive galleries. And we also, uh, we also try their activities firsthand. So check this out. families are calling the UAE home. That's why more and more parents are getting asked that same question. Mom, Dad, what do we do this weekend? That's why I'm taking you to Oli Oli. If you want to try experiential play that is redefining family fun, this is one of the places that you must check out. My son, Santino, is no stranger to Oli Oli. Hi, Santino. Hi. What do you think should we try first? Like Incredibles, Let's Eat, and Air Gallery and Future Park. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just try everything. Let's go. Now we have the head of marketing of Oli Oli with us right now. Laura, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me today. Laura, before we get too excited talking about the many things we could do here at Oli Oli, why don't you tell us about the inspiration behind this unique experiential museum? Yes, of course. So this was the work of a group of families that back in 2017, they decided to come together and to put together this wonderful place inspiring science centers in the world, uh, also from the United States, children museums for around the world too and they came together and said let's bring up to Dubai one of the most meaningful experiences that we can have for kids. Now I know there are like over 45 yeah. activities so we can and counting. Yeah, correct. <laughs> um, could you tell us a little bit more about the different activities that the children can try? Yes sure so my personal favorites are the ones that are in the future park. Uh, those are the ones that are more interactive and they were made in collaboration with Team Lab that is our collective from Tokyo, Japan. So that's an amazing, very immersive experiences where the kids can color their designs and then they will scan it in the aquarium or the transportation. So it's a very beautiful experience. Definitely a must in here. I think that is the play, right? I think that there are many studies that have shown how play is important for people, not only kids, not only adults. It's, a, it's, a, it's someone we like to play and there is a study that we refer to a lot um, that it was made by Dr. Stuart Brown that he said nothing lights up the brain like play and that's the that's the root of everything so I think that it's play what puts everyone together there. We like to innovate that's how we were created back in 2017 like an innovative experience different for Dubai and Dubai itself is an innovation hub right so we like to bring these experiences that are new for kids um, normally we are changing the temporary exhibitions each three to four months to bring something else right now we have atelier but next uh, in the year we will develop way more and our signature event that happens at the end of the year will be back to the Christmas fest. So yeah, we are all excited about that. Thank you again for joining us, Laura, and I'm gonna go learn and play. <laughs> It's just a sneak peek of this amazing place where you can have so much family fun, where learning meets adventure. And what else is our favorite thing to do here in Oli Oli? Eat! <laughs> so we're gonna go eat, but make sure to catch DXB today to find out all the best places where you can go with a whole family. There was our very own Louis dragging the kids along. <laughs> For yet another work gig as well. Did you have fun? It was fun though. I wanted to play more. <laughs> Did they? Well, like, Mom, I like my son home? a little bit, yeah. Can we go home, can we get some food. <laughs> uh, great, good to see you having uh, fun down at Ollie Ollie. Right now, our guest co host today is the CEO of an ed tech platform offering valuable educational opportunities through scholarships worldwide. Recently listed as Forbes 30 under 30 here in the region. Please welcome uh, Craig Fernandez from Secure My Scholarship. Craig, I wish I'd met you about a year ago, I tell you, as we've just gone through the process at the moment. And um, I suppose that's one of the big, look, 
Education can be a stressful process for students and parents alike at the best of times, whatever age group it might be. But especially when you're looking to sort of secure your future and the best for your future uh, in your degree, your course, your, your program, that your diploma that you want to go on to. Um, in terms of the options open to parents as well, when, when you're talking to clients, do people fully understand how, how, much, how many options there are out there? A lot of people will think, well, my child will either get a scholarship or they won't get a scholarship, and that's it. Um, but I'm sure there are more options out there that you can guide us through. 100%. I mean, there are a lot of options available for students and parents around the world. The problem that exists is, you know, we see time and time again thousands of students who apply through our platform and, you know, they apply through our platform and say, can I enroll at this university? Can I get this scholarship? I really want to go here. But time and time again, I've been told I can't afford it. Mm -hmm. you, their, parents are, they, their parents tell them, you can't afford it. Pick something else. Choose another option. And we don't think that's fair. Mm. You know, there are a lot of options out there. So if you, if you take the entire income pyramid and you break that down, outside of the top 10% or top 15%, if you look lower than that, there are so many students from the 85% threshold and lower who are consistently told time and time again, you can't afford your dreams. You can't afford to study here. Give up on them. Mm. Go somewhere else. Study somewhere else. And here at Secure My Scholarship, we want to solve that. Our mission at Secure My Scholarship is to disperse $100 million in scholarships to students around the world. We've been around for two years. We are already 8% of the way there. We've done $8.2 million in scholarships to date. We're on a mission to change the world. We want to change people's lives. Just quickly, and I know the guys have got questions, but very quickly on that. I mean, is there a misconception? Do a lot of people, especially expatriates as well, who might not have home status, who might be looking at international universities, do they look at further education and say, oh, it's just outside my budget? And how much talent is being lost if that is the case? 100%. So many people think of it that way. They say, studying in Dubai, too expensive. Send my kids back home, back to India, back to Pakistan, back to Philippines, or wherever they come from. And that's not OK. We see students who apply through our platform. You know, they're, they, they went to school in Dubai. Yeah. Their friends are going to university in Dubai. And they're told, listen, unfortunately, we can't afford that. We'll pack your bags, we gotta send you back home. Mm -hmm. You're going back to live with grandma and grandpa, go back home, and they wanna study here. I mean, they know Dubai. Their family's here, their friends are here, they know the city, they grew up here. We give them that opportunity, um, and that's what we do. But how do you do that, by the way? So you're giving them this opportunity, but for those of, who are not that familiar with securemyscholarship.com, how exactly does the process start? So it's actually all about transparency. Um, so I'll tell you myself, my own personal journey. I, I, I was told by my parents, you know, listen, we can't afford to send you to university in the U.S. I wanted to go study in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And I was told, listen, we can't afford to send you. So I applied to 11 different universities all over the U.S., got nine admits, finally found a university that would give me the scholarships that I needed. Mm -hmm. Turns out they were offering these the entire time. I just didn't know about it. Mm -hmm. So what we actually do, a large part of what we do is transparency in the process. Higher education is incredibly opaque incredibly inefficient. No one has the time to go through 500 different university websites, looking at this, looking at that, looking at this. No one has the time to do that. So what we do is we tell students, listen, this is what is available. And in many cases, you know, we'll go to universities because universities, they want students. Outside of your maybe top 50, top 100 universities in the world, Everybody else wants new students. That's why they're at education fairs um, in the UAE and everywhere else around the world. They want new students. So we tell them, listen, give us your fee waivers, give us your bursaries, give us your scholarships. If you can make them exclusive, that's amazing. But give them to us as much as you can, and we will make them available to students. Let students know about this. Let them connect yeah. with them. True. That's what we do. And I, I wanted to ask you as well uh, about you starting the first EdTech unicorn here in the UAE and what does it mean for the UAE as a whole, for a startup? Well, we're not, we're not quite a unicorn quite yet. Uh, yeah. We've raised... Uh, we've Next raised week. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> getting there. <laughs> a couple of years down the line, hopefully. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. We've raised over a million dollars in capital. We're currently valued at six million dollars as of our last funding round. Mm -hmm. um, but the UAE has never had an EdTech unicorn before. Yes. We believe that we can be the first. And what a unicorn is, is it's a startup valued at a billion dollars or more. Yeah. 
Um, we believe that at Secure My Scholarship, we can build the UAE's first EdTech unicorn, but it's, it's not really about that. I mean, that's something that we say, you know, every once in a while when we're talking to investors or shareholders, but internally, what drives us in our internal meetings or in our board meetings, when we talk company strategy, the valuation and all of that stuff, that, that doesn't matter. What does matter is the $100 million in scholarships that we want to disperse. What does matter is the 100,000 students whose lives we want to change with yeah. the work that we're doing. And if we do that, everything else will happen along the way. We've got a whole host of guests to um, bring onto the show to talk about this myriad, the variety of options out there at the moment. One I just want to pick up on with you is UAE, UAE Universities. Just ask yes. uh, Ahmed about that as well. Your take on the sort of evolution of the UAE uh, University. We see them go up the rankings at the moment. Is that reflective of what's happening on the ground? 100%. We see so many more students who would otherwise elect to, you know, if not go back home, back yeah. to, you know, their home countries, who would otherwise have elected to go to the US or the UK or Canada, now staying here in Dubai to study. But that's because the standards are as high. Yes, so you have local universities which are now doing better and becoming stronger institutions, but you're also attracting great campuses here to Dubai. Um, case in point, in Academic City, the University of Birmingham just yeah. opened a massive 6,000 student campus. The University of Birmingham, I mean, that's a, that's a Russell Group University right there. It's a top 100 university in the world, and they have a campus in Dubai. I mean, that's fantastic. For students who want to go to the UK, and I know a lot of people who went to the UK but did not study at as high a ranked institution as, as the University of Birmingham, mm -hmm. they could now just do that here in Dubai. They don't have to go to the UK. You could do that here at home, mm -hmm. literally. So I think it's, it's, it's a tale of two halves. Local universities are becoming better. Homebred universities are becoming better. But better universities around the world are also now coming to Dubai. Will more come? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Oh, well, Craig, we still have a lot of time to discuss education in more detail. But coming up, we are in conversation with the founder of Ivy Options to discover the tips and tricks you can use to make your application stand out. So don't go anywhere.